video today for my latest interview. I went on location to meet one very special girl who's making a big difference in her community. Watch as I talk to Katie Sagliano, one of the kids honored in the build a Workshop 2009 Huggable Hero Search. Hi, Katie, and welcome to build a -Bear -Bill. Thanks, Chloe. It's great to be here. We are honored to have you. It's amazing to see kids like you making a difference in the world. What is Katie's Crop? I started Katie's Crop to make sure there are no hungry children. I plant vegetable gardens and donate the whole harvest to soup kitchens and families in need. The vegetables I donate provide children and their families with healthy meals. Wow! And I hear you designed a t-shirt, too? I designed a t-shirt that says, No Hungry Children, It Only Takes a Seedling. A portion of the proceeds from every shirt sold helps to fund my garden. That's so inspiring! How did you get involved in the fight against childhood hunger? When I was in the third grade, I brought home a tiny cabbage seedling from the Body Plants Third Grade Cabbage Program. It is a free program open to third graders nationwide. When I brought it home, I placed it in my backyard. I watered it, fertilized it, weeded around it, and tended it to it. Eventually, it grew to 40 pounds, which was bigger than my brother weighed. I decided I wanted to do something special with my cabbage, so I wanted to donate to a soup kitchen where it would help feed needy people. My cabbage helped feed 300 people, and that's when I decided I wanted to do more to help fight childhood hunger. How do you plan to continue your work in the future? I plan to continue to grow my gardens in South Carolina, and I would love to get more kids across the country involved, because gardening is so fun and easy. You could plant a pot on the porch or ask your school for a garden. Together, we can make a big difference in the fight against hunger. Do you have any tips for kids who want to help make a difference in the world? My tip is to follow your heart, because if you see a need, it does not matter how big or small the need is or how young or old you are. You can still make a difference in the world. My one cabbage alone fed 300 people. There is no telling how many people a whole garden, big or small, could feed or what you can do to help in your community. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I'm sure many people would love to support your cause. You were honored in 2009 as one of the build a -Bear Workshop Huggable Heroes. How did you find out about the program? I work with Amazing Kids, and Miss Elise from Amazing Kids suggested I get nominated. How did you feel when you found out you'd been selected as a Huggable Hero? I felt amazing and honored out of everyone who entered with Amazing Projects, I was selected. What was it like meeting the other Huggable Heroes honorees? I had a lot of fun. It was neat to see what other kids were doing to make a difference. I met a lot of friends and got great advice on how to grow my project. How has being a Huggable Hero helped your class? The generous donation from build a -Bear Workshop will help with needed equipment for my garden. I've had a lot of wonderful support from the people at build a -Bear Workshop stores near me. That's awesome! You're proof that one person, even a kid, can make a difference. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thank you, Chloe. Bye, everyone. Isn't Katie amazing? The 2010 Huggable Hero Search has begun, and build -Bear Workshop is looking for young people in the U.S. and Canada doing awesome stuff to make a difference in their school, neighborhood, community, or around the world. You can find details in the Bearville Times, online at buildabear.com, and at your local build -Bear Workshop store. Plus, as a special gift for everyone watching today, you've just received a Huggable Hero emoticon. Check your emoticons. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.